Hi everyone. In this video, I will be performing a Cisco packet tracer. This is 2.2.1.4. The title is Configuring SSH. And to begin, we need to have our packet tracer file open. And it looks like this will be a fairly short packet tracer activity. So, following the instructions, let's go ahead and get started. Part 1, we need to set up secure passwords. So to begin, we are expected to telnet into the switch from the PC. So we need to launch our PC here and go into our command prompt. And all we need to do is telnet in to the switch, which is 10.10.10.2. And as we come in, the password in the instructions is Cisco. And then we will enable and put in Cisco again for the password. Um, it recommends saving the current configuration, so let's go ahead and do that with copy run start and let it save to the default location. And then it tells us to show the current configuration and note that the passwords are in plain text. So let's do a show run. And browse through everything really quickly. And here we are down at the VTY lines with our passwords right there in plain text. So we need to enter the command that will encrypt these plain text passwords. So we need to come into our global exec mode. Let's go ahead and make sure that all... Well, it already looks like they're set up, so we don't need to set them up, we just need to encrypt them. So we'll do service password dash encrypt. And then it asks us to verify that the passwords have become encrypted. So we will run exit, come back out to our user exec or privilege exec mode rather, sorry. We'll do another show run. And we can already see that our passwords are becoming encrypted. If we go down to those VTY interfaces, we can see that our passwords have become encrypted. Alright, moving on to part two. The intro to this portion is that it is generally not safe to use Telnet because the data is transferred in plain text. Therefore, use SSH whenever available. So, to do that, we need to do a little bit of setup. We need to configure a domain name. So, we will, we're already enabled, we'll go to our global exec and set a domain name first. If you don't have a domain name set, then you will not be able to configure SSH. So we do that. And that is part A. Part B says that secure keys are needed to encrypt the data. So we need to generate an RSA key using a 1024 key length. So we're already in our global exec mode, so we will just tell it to crypt, I think it's supposed to be crypto, key generate. RSA and tell it 1024 for the length and so it goes and it generates the RSA key. Next we need to create an SSH user and reconfigure the VTY lines for SSH only access. So to begin, we'll need to create an administrator user with Cisco as the secret password. So from our global exec mode here, we will input the command username, administrator, secret, Cisco. And double check our spelling, because we'll need this user account to be spelled correctly later. 
All right, looks good. And then it. Sh there we go. And we can see that SSH was enabled. We now have a user account set up. So next, we need to configure the VTY lines to check the local username database for login credentials and to allow only SSH for remote access. And then we will remove the existing VTY line password. So from our global exec, we will go into line VTY 015, login local, transport input SSH, and no password Cisco. And that should configure everything there for part B under step two. All right, and then we're on to part three, verify SSH implementation. We will need to exit the Telnet session and try to log back in using Telnet. So we'll do end exit to show that we have logged out successfully. And then we are supposed to try to Telnet back in. So let's try it and see what happens. So it is immediately rejected by the switch which is good, that's what we're going for. So next we'll try the SSH connection with this command. If you need to see how this command works, you can type SSH and press enter with no parameters and it'll give you the full usage. So it's SSH-L the user account or username which we set as administrator and then the target, which is 10, 10, 10, 2, still at switch. And there we are. And our password, as we type in, is Cisco still, but it's encrypted and not displayed now. And then when we go to enable, we'll have to do it again. And we're in. So we're supposed to come into the privileged exec mode, which is where we are now and save the configuration with copy run start and save to the default startup file and that completes this packet tracer activity let's go ahead and take a look here and we show 100% completion so if you're doing this and you do not yet show 100% completion hit your check results and in your main packet tracer window, hit your assessment items. And this way you can come and check and see what it is you need to double check and correct. Alright, so that took me nine and a half minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here. And I will see you in my next video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.